Hey guys, welcome back to Gary Paulson Lawn Boy. How did I almost forget what we were reading? Anyway, guys, we find ourselves on chapter five, that's page 26. It says labor acquisition and its effect on capital growth. Now labor means work. If you labor over something, you work. So if you are a laborer, you are one who works. So we're looking to acquire something. Acquisition is acquire. So we're looking to acquire or get more labor, get more workers, and how that affects capital growth. Now remember, we've talked about capital, and capital is just another word for money, basically. Money and resources that a company has. So labor acquisition, getting more workers, and its effect on capital growth. How more workers can help you make more money. Now, when we left our friends last, Arnold and Lawn Boy, they decided to contact Pascal. Let's see if Pascal will be an asset, a plus to the organization. Uh, hi, he said. Arnold said you wanted to talk to me about work. Pascal had the reddest hair I have ever seen in my life. My grandmother once told me, you can always trust a redhead. They sometimes have mean tempers to be sure, but they usually have got good hearts. And of course, we were at a baseball game at the time and I had asked her to help me figure out my favorite player's batting average, but I still thought it was a pretty good advice and so I liked Pascal right away. We were at Arnold's house. I had about 20 minutes before I had to be home. I told my parents that I had to talk to people about new jobs and they'd extended my be out time to 9.30. Well, it's nice to see that you found a way to make some spare change, mom had said. But aren't you working too hard? I jammed my hands into my pockets, pockets that were crammed with, at the moment, something like $330 and said, like the work. It's, uh, it's good to be out in the fresh air. My parents are big on me spending time in the fresh air for some reason. She smiled at me. Well, I'm glad you're having such a good summer. I was a little worried that it might be too quiet for you. I decided to jump right into it with Pascal since my time was short. Listen, I have a lot of job offers I can't take because I'm working alone with only one mower. If I had help in maybe another mower... Pascal nodded. How many jobs do you have waiting? I thought, uh, I could probably have like eight more. I don't really know how many might be coming along. Another nod. Mm, all right, I understand. Uh, tomorrow morning, look for a small truck and a mower. A man named Lewis will be driving. He's my cousin. Tell him uh, which lawns to cut. I'll come when it's dark and do what silent work is needed. Well, how, how do I pay? I receive half of what you get for the lawns and, and um, that, sorry, I get half of what you get for the lawns that Lewis and I do. And I pay Lewis out of that half. Half? Like, I don't even do anything and I get half? I shook my head. Like, that doesn't seem fair. Shouldn't you get more? Pascal smiled, his mustache turning up at the corners and then down. Hey, you take half because you're the boss. You found these jobs and, and, and you'll find more. That's the way it's done. But it's too much. Arnold coughed. <coughs> it was the first sound he'd made since we'd started talking. Ah, man, it can be adjusted later if you still feel that way. For right now, let's just... Come to a, an agreement to get the process, you know, rolling. He shr I shrugged. I'm with me, I guess. Pascal held out his hand and we shook. Lewis and the truck will be here at Arnold's house in the morning. You leave the money with Arnold and he'll pay us. And he was gone. Arnold and I worked out new prices since Pascal would be doing additional work. We also figured out a smaller percentage for me. I stood there for another minute, thinking. Something wrong? Arnold said, asked. I shrugged. I don't really know what to do. I 
I've got all this money and I don't want to have it around the house where my parents could find it. Oh, would they steal it from you? Oh, no, no, I, that's not it. I, could, I don't want to tell them about the money until the end of summer. Why wait until then? I don't know, I'm just waiting for the right time. So it doesn't sound like I'm kind of bragging or something. Arnold rubbed the back of his head and then his face. Ugh. Tell you what, if you want, I'll keep it here. Invest it for you the way we did with that first stop the other day. That way your money will make more money while you earn more. I had a good feeling that Arnold was honest and smart about investing, so I gave him most of my money, keeping just enough for gas for the mower, and he gave me a receipt. Do you trust Arnold? Lawn boy does. If I'd known what was coming, I might have fired up the mower, stuck it in max rabbit speed, and putt-putted all the way home to hide in my room. And that is the end of chapter five. What happens next? I'll see you in the next chapter. We'll figure it out then. Happy reading, guys.